Today we're going to create a fun, simple party planning tracker in Google Sheets. It's perfect for organising kids parties or any basic event. The template will track tasks, costs, responsibilities, when it needs to be completed and the current status. We have a helpful summary page and this will automatically split costs if you're co-hosting. And we have a guest list section, which will automatically add up how many people we are expecting. We're going to have three main sections. The party tracker for tracking tasks, costs and who's responsible. Party people, this will be your guest list and additional information for key details like the venue and the date. We'll first add the tracking section. We want to track what? So that's the task, the venue, the invitation, the food. How much? So that's the cost. Who? Who's responsible or who do we chase? When it needs to be completed by and the status. So is it done to do overdue? Let's speed add some of the main tasks and the things we need to purchase. We've got a venue deposit and the remainder, invitations. Someone needs to sort out some music. We definitely need food, so sandwiches, drinks, etc. We need some naughty bits like crisps and snacks. It's not a birthday party without cake, candles and balloons. And we'll need some other party essentials like paper plates, napkins, a fun tablecloth. I feel like we need something healthy, so some veggie sticks, or if we want to sound posh, crudites. And some more healthy food, so I find the kids usually like strawberries, blueberries, grapes. And finally, we need some party bags with something in them. Maybe an activity book and some sweets. Next, we can add costs to these items. These can be added as you go, but let's put in some estimates for now. Let's say £100 for the venue deposit, £200 for the remainder. Invitations may cost zero, but we still want to know who's responsible. Music might have a cost if you have a DJ or a band. Let's add estimates for food, drinks, etc. You may want to group these up so that one person does the sandwiches, squash, etc. And then that adds up to £50 and the other person does the remainder. Let's put in 50 again. Whoops, wrong place. Right, who? Now we'll assign who's responsible using a drop down. Go to data, data validation, add rule. Let's make it a bit more fun with emojis. Let's have Sarah, who will be a ninja. Go to insert emoji, type in ninja, and click, and Charlotte. Hang on, where's my ninja gone? Copy and paste that into the right place with control C, control V, and Charlotte is going to be a fairy princess. Insert emoji fairy. Cut with control X and paste control V. And she's going to be pink and I'm going to be a nice blue. Apply this to the full range from C2 all the way to the bottom, which means you don't have to add an end number. And done. We can now add in the responsibilities, Sarah or Charlotte, using the drop downs. Make this wider by double clicking. All of this needs to be one person. I'm giving Charlotte a lot of work here. And then the rest is Sarah. Right, that's it. And then let's get rid of this data validation now. Now let's add in some dates. Let's have a New Year's Day party on the 1st of January 2025. If you've seen me before, you might know that one of my pet peeves in Excel and Google Sheets is dates and not knowing whether it's UK or US style. So I always change my dates so that you can see what month it is. Go to Format, Number and choose a better date format. Drag the dates down. They just need to be placeholders really, but maybe I'll change the deposit to be due two months before the actual party. Now let's create a status column to track whether things are done or need to be. We're going to add some more data validation. I press control down to select the whole column and then scroll back up. Data, data validation, add a new rule. This one's going to be the status and the statuses are going to be done. 
to do or ah do now uh then it's going to be a nice green to do is going to be an orangish ah do now is going to be a red and then let's add some emojis just to make it a little bit more fun so insert emoji and then we can't find it under tick uh so i'm going to go for green or a green tick then for to do we can have a yes yes sir symbol and then finally the ah do now can be a distraught face this gives us more of a visual way to track progress and is just a little bit more fun double click to open again and fill in all the rest now let's make this even prettier so select everything on the right right click and hide all that let's add some color select the top row and let's have a background that's dark blue and text that's white to change all the font click the top left and then go to more fonts and let's go for the most fun font comic sans Ooh, no comic sans but we've got comic new then let's make the top row bold and the text a bit bigger plus we can center it it looks cleaner if we remove all of the grid lines click view show untick grid lines select it all again and we'll add our own lines go to border select a nice blue color again a dotted line and in between each row nice next we're going to select the how much column and change that into a currency so go to format number and select your favorite next up we've got our party people our guest list so click here and i'm going to copy and paste a bunch of names in i'm going to call them guests then for each guest we are going to want to know if we've sent them the invitation if they've replied and if they're coming i'm going to add some nice little check boxes that we can tick so highlight then go insert check box you can also see that there's insert drop down here tick a few sent replied and coming we're going to use a formula to count how many invitations we've sent, how many have replied and how many are coming. But first of all, let's just tidy this up and copy the format from the previous page. Copy, edit, paste, special, format only, copy, then paste special, format again. Select the columns, make them wider. If you do them all at once, they'll all be the same width. We're now going to add up how many invitations have been sent. This will be a formula, so type in equals. It's going to say invitation sent, so stick these in quotation marks. Then we use the ampersand so that the formula will put everything together in one cell. And then to count how many checkboxes are ticked, we are going to use the count if function which counts the number of cells in a range that meet a specific condition. Behind a checked checkbox is actually the value true. So we set the condition to true, meaning we're counting all the ticked boxes. This gives us a total number of accepted invitations. Let's just add in a space for formatting reasons. Just tick some boxes to make sure it works. Now let's do the same for replied. Let's steal our formula we just made for invitation, um, put it in replied, but we need our equals and our speech marks and our space. Then add the formula, but it's looking at the wrong column, so change column B to C. Let's find out how many people are coming. We'll do it slightly differently to show you a different way. So copy the formula in C, copy it into D, and then instead of saying replied, we want it to say coming. And then let's do some testing. All good, so let's tidy it up. Let's select all these and hide those columns. And let's move on to info. Oops, it says venues, so let's say info. So right click, rename, info. I want to start with the same formatting, so I'm gonna copy a section 
and paste it over to here. It's actually hard to change the formatting of checkboxes, so I'm just going to copy and replace again. Let's add some details. So venue, let's go for the moon date, the 1st of January 2024. I think I said 25 before. Never mind. Let's add a time. Let's go for 5 p.m. till 11 p.m. And then let's add up the costs for our two party planners. Let's copy and paste them into here. And then we're going to sum up how much each has paid with the formula sum ifs. So sum if that whole column B, comma, column C, which is who made the payments, and then comma, back to our info page because we want to know um, sum if it is Sarah or Charlotte. Drag that down for Charlotte. We've currently got the same cost. We're going to change a cost because it's too even. And there you can see Sarah's 230 and Charlotte is 250. Now let's total up the total cost of the party. So total equals sum of the above and work out what half is. Let's put in half here. And look, clever old Google knows that we want to work out half. Now let's do a bit of tidying. Let's paste that format down there and paste that format there, the little paste button. And we can make total and half bold with the big B. Let's widen this column and center it. Then hide everything from column C onwards. That's it. That's our little party planner in just over 10 minutes. Uh, although it's taken me a lot longer to film this. So I appreciate any comments and definitely appreciate you watching. But I think it's a fun one. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something. If so, would love a subscribe and watch out for more.